Hey everybody, this is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett, welcome. Last week we explored the uh, Santisha, which is the uh, standing meditation that is foundational exercise in Xing Yi Chuan, which is heart mind boxing and um, is one of the Chinese internal martial arts along with Taiji Chuan and uh, Ba Gua Zhang. And um, so the, you know, the, the three primary ones. Anyway, we're going to go a little further. We're going to explore Qin and, and put it in the context of the five elements as, as used in Xing Yi. So this won't be a, a Xing Yi exercise per se. Um, we're not, you know, this is going to be real introductory stuff. But we're going to use the the forms and the ideas behind the, you know, the five elements in Xing Yi to uh, to give a, a a broader understanding of what it means to to create Jin in uh, with anything you're doing, and so we're showing that there's a lot of uh, a lot of latitude, a lot of ways to go about it. We've explored Jin in the past, and this uh, uh, a wee bit of alchemy here. Uh, in uh, particularly in terms of Taiji Chuan, you know, we talked about you know Pong Lu Ji An, the uh, you know the basic jins of uh, of Tai Chi, and then you know we uh, we had some of the other ones as well. But the uh, I think it bears repeating to to go over exactly what we mean by Jin. And uh, first of all, it's spelled J I N. It used to be called Jing. That was the way it was translated for, you know, for first few decades that I was exploring this stuff. And then uh, some said, no, it's not. It's it's J-I-N, not J-I-N-J, J-I-N-G. Um, and Jin is technically um, a combination of Li, L-I, which is external muscular force muscular force and chi which is energy so we have the physicality of li and the energy the insubstantial energy of chi and uh, those two are coming together in different proportions at different times depending on how you want to manifest your jin you know it can be very it can be like mostly hard a mostly hard gin where is you know, so let's say 80% physical, 20% chi. Uh, it can be the other way around. It can be 20% physical and 80% chi. And then we can also take that even more insubstantial where the chi is in actually in very small quantities and, and we're mostly going with the spirit or shen. And that's a that's a that's a, a much more um, refined level of, of the art. But we're going to stick today to primarily going with 60 to uh, 80% chi and, you know, um, 20 to 40% um, physicality. So that means, what that means is you're actually, you're not going to be working so hard at uh, at the physical aspects of it. You're gonna get into the shapes, but it's primarily going to be your understanding of the direction of the energy and how that how the energy is moving through your physical form. And that's what is going to create the uh, the jin. It's gonna create this flow of, of energy through your body. So the, um, the simplest one, if we talk about it from a Tai Chi perspective, we have, we go into like a ward off posture where the arm is coming out here. The the physical arm itself is rather weak, and if I don't have it animated with 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 energy, it's easily collapsed by any external force. But once I point and reach with my index finger, I create this coherence. Then the 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 whole system fills up, and with with chi, and then we have Pong Jin, which is this ward off energy. And it's this, this 
it's a it's an energy that's directed through my body to to expand so the uh, the five energies of xing yi follow the five elements of chinese medicine which you have uh your and they usually start with um the uh, metal energy, which is the energy of fall, and it uh, it's considered it's called pi chuan, a pi, and that's uh, it. It's kind of a um, it's called splitting energy because it's it's a short, abrupt kind of motion that pierces through something and then stops. So it's a it's a very short jin. So the uh, your you're going through something and you're splitting it like think of like an axe splitting a log. That's that's P tran. So and then it goes into uh, and so that that's kind of a down energy, kind of like boom, dropping a dropping a hammer or dropping an axe, boom. It's a very strong downward kind of pull. But it, it actually can manifest in any direction, but you know, you can visualize it that way where the there's a you know, very sung that is you know relaxing into your structure and letting your the energy do the work. The next one is would be bong chuan, which is B E N G, and that's wood energy, and that has more of a two directional thing. That's you can think of as as down and up like a tree, but it's also can be directed horizontally. So it's kind of you've got one one direction and the other one. So Bong Chuan is it moves horizontally, in at least in the in the way we're going to express it today. And think of it as like either a battering ram, because it's smashing energy, or it's also sometimes described as like a an arrow being shot. That very that very directional. So that's your your Bong Chuan. Your uh, the then we have. Um, Water chi, which is uh, suan, c u a n, and that's uh, that's drilling energy. So it's like two waves coming together and spiraling upward, and so we get this this upward kind of uh, spiral on the uh, on the uh, the zuan chen. And then there's um, pao, which is exploding energy, and that's fire, the energy of summer. And that's where the energy is moving in all directions. And it's, there's this um, uh, very fiery kind of quality to it. Then the, the last one is hung, which is um, H-E-N-G, which is earth. And that's crossing uh, energy. And that's where we're it's being pulled in an opposite directions, kind of going through but it's also coming from the central. That's earthy. As the and earth is a is an energy that kind of permeates all the others once all the other energies as well. So anyway, that's that's your nickel version for the energies we're going to be talking about. So let's stand up and uh, we'll uh, play around with these. Okay, so let's begin by uh, establishing our three pillars. Let's get our, our three pillars of body, mind, spirit integration. So we want to feel your, you want to point and reach with your index fingers and just to establish your energetic coherence. So this creates a state throughout uh, of, of unity and wholeness throughout the whole body. It also creates a, allows us to move into the, the gap between thoughts as we feel into the sensations that get produced when we point and reach for those fingers. And uh, so now you're going to feel the center of your weight over the balls of your feet, unlock your knees. Feel your body sinking down. You still want to keep the keep your energetic coherence as you do this. 
Reach upward with the crown of the head and tuck in your chin. So we're elongating the spine, opening. And by tucking in the chin, we also are opening the jade pillow gate at the base of the skull. So the second pillar we're calling the central equilibrium. And the third one is to, uh, I call it uh, unkinking the hose. That is you're removing the primary, there's three primary blocks, uh, gates in your body that, that can block the chi if, they're, if there's muscular tension and, and misalignment there. Now, first one we've already addressed by tucking in chin and reaching with the crown and opening the jade pillow gate. That's one of the, uh, the jade pillow gate is, a, is an important one. We reach with the elbows, rounding the arms slightly and open the shoulder joints. And that is the second one there that allows the chi to flow into your arms and into your hands. You also want to be cognizant of your shoulder blades as you do that. You're, as you're reaching with your elbows, you're also opening up your back, opening up your, you know, the, the space between your shoulder blades. So you're making this, this whole body connection that moves through your back. There's no, there's no limitation there. And the third, the third one of the, uh, the unkinking the hose is the, the hip joints. So you want to just kind of release your hip joints, release your quad, get very soon, so allow your body to sink and relax, sink down. At the same time, reaching up to the crown of your head, tucking in the chin. Arms are relaxed, but they're rounded, reaching with the elbows. Yeah, so this is our three pillars of body, mind, spirit integration. Now, what I'd like to do is to first go over the sand t-shirt that we, uh, we did uh, last week. This is the uh, foundational exercise for Xing Yi and great for getting this whole body connection and heightens your awareness of your part, body parts. So let's pivot on your left heel, like I'll turn your foot out like 45 degrees and step forward with your right foot so that your, your heels are lining up. So your body is that your weight is about 70%, 60, 70% in your left leg, your back leg, your <coughs> knees are, are unlocked. Your torso is turned so that there's, your navel is pointing out a 45 degree angle. but you're looking straight forward. So your body is pointing that way, but you're looking, you're looking, your right hand's gonna come up and reach out at about, you know, face high. And so you're looking through the, through the gap there between your thumb and forefinger, your left hand round, your left arm rounds like that, and your left thumb points toward your, your navel. Again, we're, we're doing this kind of soft. I'm gonna turn so you can see what that looks like there. We, we're doing it kind of soft here and uh, about, you know, 60 to 80% chi, 20 to 40% physicality. So we're more interested in releasing down, relaxing, getting very soon. Uh, but there's still this extension. And you want to hear, you want to feel your body parts in pairs. You want to feel your shoulder blades connecting up with your hip joints. So there's a, there is a, an awareness there of those. They're linking the two up. Your fingers are, are aligning with your toes. You're linking that in your mind. You're having that sense, 
not just in your mind, but you're feeling your fingers, you're feeling your toes together. So what this is doing is it's creating new neural connections in your nervous system to really reinforce the this uh, these patterns. So it becomes something that you can you can definitely kind of sum it up as you need it. Your wrists line up with your, your link with your ankles, your elbows link with your knees. And just feel into that. Feel those things individually and then feel them all together. And then let them all go. And just trust that there's a knowingness that comes from your association there. Another thing I want to point out is the, the right hand, you want it on this right here on the lining up with your leg. You don't want it out to the side. You're, you're here, so it's right in front of your face. Your, your feet are in a line so that the heels are lining up together and you're reaching down there for that. So then bring your hands in and we're going to step out now with the left foot. The same idea. You sink into your move primarily into your right leg. Your left hand comes up and reaches forward. Right hand. Thumb points toward the navel. So it's kind of like you're giving a hug. So with your arms here, you're, you're kind of embracing with this motion. At the same time, you're still reaching out with that left hand. And you're feeling the connections between your shoulder blades and your hips, your fingers and your toes, wrists and ankles, elbows and knees. Feel those linking up. Feel them individually and feel them all together. And then let that go and just trust your knowing. It's there. You're making the connections. Let's allow them to develop. And then step back in, hands come in. So now we're going to go to the five elements. We're going to start with peach fan. As I said, it's it's metal energy. So there's that abruptness, short energy, and the way we way we do it is very similar to Santee. This slight slight modification, at least the way I, I learned it. We kind of go up with the same idea here. The sink into your right leg, left foot forward, reach out with your left hand. This time a little lower. P and uh, Santee, we had up here. I'm going to bring it down here. And the right hand is, is in the same position. So the, the difference here, whereas Santee is the emphasis is on this whole body energetic connection. What uh, we call it uh, Taiji Jung Chi Jin, which is this this uh, the whole body energetic connection. Every the one energy and all all the physical parts are are linked up. In this one, the emphasis we we're starting with that that Jung Chi Jin. We're starting with that whole body energetic connection, but we're now we're adding a direction to it, and that direction is like. Like we're taking an ax and chopping down. So there's a that splitting energy is happening here. So you still want to feel your, your shoulder blades and your hips. You want to feel your, your toes and your fingers, your ankles and your wrists, your elbows and your knees. But you're also, we have this direction. It's like if you were to 
just let go, the, 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 the arm would just drop. But it, there's, there's no force that's, uh, I wouldn't say there's no force, but there's the very minimum amount of force necessary to hold your left arm and reach out with that. So we're getting very sung here in this. And uh, we're just feeling the energy as an abrupt, short, downward splitting. So now, let all that go. I just feel into the shape, feel into it, and just not thinking about it, allowing yourself to move into the space between thoughts, allow yourself to shift into that super conscious state and, and trust your knowingness. You don't have to think about it. And then step back, pivot out on your left foot, step forward with your right foot. Same idea here. The energy is coming. There's this downward vector on this on this on this particular one. You can direct your that, that energy in any direction, but for this particular posture, we want to have it emphasizing that downward chopping motion with your right hand. Uh, looks like this. Again, soft, arms are very relaxed, very soon. Your, your eyes are looking straight ahead. Past your right hand. And then let that go. And just settle into that. Just feel into the super conscious state, the space between thoughts. Step in. And now we're going to move to Bong Chuan, which is wood energy. And here we got this kind of moving in two directions. It's two directional. And there's a, a quality here. We step forward with your, with your left foot. And here we want to reach out with your right hand. So you're, so it's, you're, you're extending your right fist forward, your weight's still in your back foot, your left hand is simultaneously pulling backward. So there's a, it's like you're, you're working a pulley, you know, you're, you get this, so you're pulling back with your left hand, you're reaching forward with your right hand. Okay. And the fist is right about about uh, you know your your belly high. The direction is oh the other thing is you want to when you're it's the elbow comes when you're going out your elbow is kind of rubbing against your your liver here as you reach out with your right hand and. You're extending forward like this. So the fist is, is, notice that the closer you get to that center line, the more energy is there. So you're pulling back with your left hand, and that's again really close to the body. The right hand is also, but you're, you're extending forward like that. Now I wanna call attention to one of the, the way you hold your fist is going to affect the chi in this also, the jin in this also. So first just do it with your fists like flat, like that, like it's like uh, like that. Okay, so you're reaching out with that flattened fist so that all your knuckles would make contact simultaneously with the target. Now we're gonna make a change here and this time you want to rotate the fists 
down as if you're pouring a spout, you pour water through a spout, you're, you're directing it down. So you, this time you're, you're emphasizing the knuckles, the knuckles of your forefinger and your middle finger to be the contact points. And so you're reaching out with that and just feel into that. Notice there is a difference if you direct the energy that way. And just go back to flat and just notice how that affects the energy. So then go back and reach down for the spout there. Now we're going to go the other way and we're going to raise the, the hand so that the wrist is bending upward and the uh, we're striking with the bottom two fingers, the the uh, pinky and the, and the ring finger. And notice the difference there. We have three different qualities of energy in this bong trend. Now just go through them all. Just go to the, go to just the, the neutral state there and pour, the, pour it down. Feel that, striking with the index and middle finger, and then strike with the, the little finger and the, and the ring finger. Just feel, feel those three different qualities of the energy there. And so we're gonna keep the left foot forward, and this time we're just gonna pull back with the right hand and reach forward with the left. And here, just have it, have the neutral position here to your pulling back. So there's a, that sense of like pulling back a, a rubber band with, between the two hands. So these poles in opposition. You want to feel into that. You want to feel into your feet, feet you have the feet and the hands connecting up. Ankles and the wrists, the elbows and the knees, the hips and the shoulder blades. Feel that energy that's coming into it's a it's a different quality of energy now than the uh, than the P-tran. And this one, rather than being a short energy, this one's going all the way through. This is where we're using that uh, it's smashing. So we're going to go all the way through the uh, the battery ram is going all the way through the door. The arrow is going to go right through the target. Now pour with that, reach down with the, strike with the top two knuckles, feel that. And then feel the bottom two knuckles. Feel the different energies that each of these provides, each of these creates. I'll go back to neutral and just feel all those at once. Let them go. Step back. Just give yourself a moment here, just go into a neutral posture. Feel your three pillars. Uh, let the chin go. Your body remembers the chin, so you don't have to focus on it. Your mind can let that go. Good. Now step forward with your right leg. Turn your actually turn your left foot out. Step forward with the right leg, right foot. And the right hand comes up, the center line spirals upward and reaches. The left hand, palm down, pushes down. So it, it looks like, like this. And the, the, this is uh, Zhuan Chen, uh, which is water chi. And the fist on this one 
looks like this. You're leading with the uh, with the knuckle, the but the 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 knuckles form a spiral. Uh, if you can see that in my hand, but there's a there's a the they're they're not solid like this. They're they're now directed into a spiraling pattern. So they you uh, when you're going into your the Zhuanchen, your the energy is coming up and spiraling up and out, <laughs> up and through. And this is a really, really uh, insubstantial quality. You're, you're getting very soft. It's not as directed as the other two that we've, we've been doing. It's sort of allowing, it's like waves coming through on this one. <laughs> so feel that. That spiraling chi coming, starting to get your feet coming up through your body, through your arms and, and out your fists. Feel your shoulder blades. You really want to open the shoulder blades as you do this and connect that up with your hip joints. You're reaching down with that left hand. Feel the chi in your let in, in both hands as you're doing this. So the chin, so we've got the hold in opposition here. The left hand is pressing down as the right hand is reaching out. Very soft, very sung. Right. Step in. And now we're gonna go with the with step out with the left foot and the left hand. The hand. Left hand comes up the center line and reaches out. Right hand presses down. Nice and soft. <laughs> Feel your shoulder blades opening, connecting to your hips your feet and your fingers, ankles and wrists, knees and elbows. Feel that all connected up and allowing the watery chi to move through. And let that go and just relax into the posture. Empty out your mind. Go to the gap between thoughts. And let your pre-conscious express itself through your, your, your mind and your spirit. And then step back in. Next is a uh, fire or powtran. And this is exploding energy. So, and this one is, uh, the stance is a little more neutral. It's more 50-50. And it's not rooted so much. It's more like just like, like a, a firecracker exploding. Feel that, good. And step in and go to the other side and step out with your, your left foot and your right hand uh, is going forward. Your left hand is, is up. Notice how the body you know, twists around on this one. And you're, you're kind of really getting into this the, the, there's a spiral there, but there's a, it's the energy is exploding outward. And now let that go. Step in and relax, release. 
let that go, sink in. Ah, feel that neutral state. All right, so now we're going to do Hong Tran. And this is crossing and just as corresponds to the earth. And she's gonna step out with the left foot. And this one, you're, you're in your right, right leg primarily, your left foot up. And then the right fist comes in front of your body kind of curves in front of your body like that. So there's a, a roundedness to your arm. The, and the, so the uh, you got right fist and then the, the left hand is rounded the other way. And this is another one that's like a hug. So we're getting this, this shape where we're, we're pulling apart. But, uh, it's actually the energy is more coming in. This this is earthy. So whereas fire is it's exploding outward, hung is more like giving a hug here. They're still pulling apart within the hug. There's still holes in opposition here, but the uh, it's more central. We're centrally located in in the earth chi. The earth is the earth energy is something that permeates all the other uh, all the other jins. It organizes and and brings everything down into a central uh, form. Just feel into that. You're reaching out with your elbows, opening up your shoulder blades, feeling that connection with your hips as you do that. And let that go, step in. And now we're going to step out with the right foot. Left hand, notice that the left hand, the, the fist is palm up. So there's, we're reaching like that. The right hand is palm down. You have poles in opposition, but there are many. There's you're simultaneously pulling apart and pushing together. You're reaching out with your elbows, but at the same time you're kind of giving a hug. You're kind of bringing it in together. So this is the that earth chi that has all these contradictory things that kind of merge into this vibrant wholeness that sustains and organizes everything. And then let that go and just hold that position. Release and relax into that. Step in. Back to center. Feel the energy moving in your arms, your fingers, your feet, throughout your whole body. Feel the circulation of your blood. So now we're going to Give it out on your right foot. Step forward with your left. We're going to finish up with very quiet santee. And while you're doing this, you're including all those jins. It's 
simultaneously the metal, the wood, water, fire, and earth. Allow them to exist in you as potentialities. Step in and step out with your right foot and Santee. Same idea. Feel the all those energies, all those chins within you. You're not distinguishing between them, but you know they're all there. Let all that go. Step in. Pause and just feel into that. Allow the energy to circulate and do whatever work that needs to be done to bring about optimum health for you. And take a deep breath, inhale, bring to the balls of your feet, yang, and then sink in your heels and exhale and throw that all away. Please have a seat. How'd that go? Good, good. Any observations, thoughts, questions? Anything you'd like to share with the kids at home? Valerie. We need to do this next week. <laughs> you always say that. No, 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 I mean it. We, we need to, to refine that. Okay. We, I need to refine that. And I think we, if I'm feeling that way, a lot of other people would feel that way. Um, I really got into the the water and the fire and the the earth. Those were very very clear. The metal and wood were a, a little well wood was starting to come together, but metal was a little for me. Um, okay. So but I, I but wow. Do you think benefit in doing this again next week? I do. I do. Okay. Was that a thumbs up there, Jonathan? <laughs> John, no there we go. Yeah, there's a lot. It's not like you don't pack a lot in other things, but there are a lot of very specific things in this one. And Valerie's absolutely right. You should just repeat, repeat it exactly almost. Okay. <laughs> and I, you know, you can say that about a lot of the, it's because of how how subtle there were so many different subtle adjustments that you're right. putting into this one. Right. So, and I think everybody should remember. It's I don't expect you to memorize all this. You you no have quiz. the tape here that you can uh, 
you can refer to if you want to practice it again. I'm more interested in having the experience of creating gin. That is, how can we, you know, we can get really inventive, you know, in, in gin creation. There's a lot of classical ways of thinking about it. But, you know, once you, once you own it, once you can really say, oh, I, I know what that feels like, then you can start to play around with it and create your own. Yeah, look, I, I'd like to say if you sh if you introduce us, expose us to 12 gins and we can experience the difference in three, that's progress. But absolutely. No, I mean, the fact that anybody can experience right, right, right. it at <laughs> all is, is huge. I mean, it took me <laughs> decades to get to that point, you yeah. know, by but, wandering around in the dark to, to get to be able to say, oh, so that's a gin. You know, right. I mean, really, and look, it took me decades. If I can, if I can get people to do this in in an hour, then uh, I'd say that's uh, that that's a better mousetrap. So, uh, and it's hard to know which one is going to be the one that will break through to you as a distinct. Oh, I can feel that one. Right. Right. So it's it's a very cool approach to just throw us a bunch of them and let us see where we land with them. You know, it's it's good. Beautiful. Good. Thank you. Ben, you had something. The full approach. Just throw them in and see what floats. <laughs> right. but, I mean, to be fair, we have all been doing this, some version of this for decades. So, uh, you know, I mean, we're building on, you know, stuff we already have. have. Yeah. We're not actually getting it in an hour. <laughs> but somebody might. But, well, yeah, you could if you've already been following along and feeling all this stuff and, and you know, doing that, then, yeah. But I, I agree that saying it over again, rather than just saying, go back to the tape, because each time you teach something, you teach it a little bit differently, right? And you people hear it differently and you get a little bit mm -hmm. you know, more insight. So we, however, will not be here next week. Um, so we'll just listen. Sorry for it. us. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. But he's um, gonna give us all the secret stuff next week. Yeah, the real, the real stuff. <laughs> then you just go on YouTube and okay. <laughs> uh, cool. So uh, yeah, Scott. Um, so I think you probably could have done led us through that and not not told me what any of the energies were, and I could have figured them all out pretty damn quick. I mean, you can really feel them. Oh, cool. Yeah, it was interesting when you were when we were doing fire and you were. Before you even said staff, I actually felt like if I had had a staff, what the vector would be. It was mm. really weird. It was like, you know, if I had spun the staff, I could feel the whole vector. It was really odd. Nice. Nice. Cool. Okay. Um, any other thoughts? Good. Good. Uh, so, yeah. So, this is a, a way of, of, of playing with gin. Uh, there are lots of others that you know, we haven't gotten to yet in Piggy and Taiji Tran. You know, there are dozens of them, uh, classical uh, expressions of gin. Uh, but I think this is a nice nice foundation for, uh, for really getting, yeah. And connecting them up with the elements is, I think, uh, is a nice, uh, nice feel to it too. Cool. Okay, well, thank you all very much. And uh, 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 thank, thank you. you Love you, Maria. Thank, Thank you. you. Maria. Thank you, Maria. Hey. 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 Couple okay. Weeks. okay, bye. Yeah, a couple of weeks. Not far. Yep. Oh.